But okay, we've got the curse of the night wraith. And there he is. Ew, why do you look like that? <laughs> Hey, it's The Dice and welcome back to the Occult Baby Challenge where, as you can see, we've got our little alien child. This is Ailey, if you missed the last episode. She aged up into a toddler, so that was fun. And I'm thinking today I want to focus a little bit on our vet clinic. We're currently on one and a half stars and I want to get that up a little bit and also improve our veterinary skill. So we're currently level four going on to level five. Let I'm going to try and get it up to like level seven today. That's the goal. Currently paying our bills, almost eight grand, which is pretty insane. Oh, and off camera I did, oh hey Patchy. I did do Ailey's room. I wanted it to have that sort of out of this world kind of space look there wasn't that many like space items in the game for toddlers anyway so this is what i came up with i hope you guys like it i think our room's super cute you're currently hungry so we might feed you before we go into the vet at least try and work before everyone comes home which is very soon okay maybe we should maybe we should go to the vet now and then once everyone comes home from school we can come back home the forest pet center whoa I do actually want to like do some stuff with the front, especially as all the snow's gone. Oh my gosh, look, <laughs> look at this tree. Why is it doing that? There's not even any like flooring out the front. Should we use wood? Is wood kind of weird? I mean, it doesn't look bad. I might even change this fence. And can we get rid of these decorations? I don't even have a decorations box on this lot. So I don't know what they're doing there. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Now, I don't even think this foundation has like anything on it let's try and fix that maybe we should use the one from cats and dogs it actually looks really nice and let's change this roof tile because i couldn't see it because of the snow should i do black i mean black looks good or should i do like rich black um it kind of looks weird with the brown okay i'm gonna leave it like this for now i might change it now let's get some stuff out the front what comes with cats and dogs uh we've got some trees get this massive one out the back and then any like small plants we've got a little cute dogs little dog bushes i mean sure why not okay and then maybe we could get like some bushes like this okay so this is what i've come up with i just did around the sides and i just added some oh i didn't put any bushes around here so it doesn't look the best because all the plants are dead but it, it's a, again still a work in progress i don't know why we have a mailbox i still don't know what to do on this roof maybe i should make it smaller okay cute it's like a little daint quilt quirky vet clinic <laughs> now let's actually open or oh, we're already open apparently okay how are my employees will and sibila as soon as you guys come we're praising you just for showing up thank you for coming to work on time wow you have red eyes that's really cool good work team we've got someone inside who are you we've got little delilah oh such a cute name what the dog doing oh and casey's back tabby again I can't with this family. They literally can't look after their pets. Sibylla, I definitely think I'm going to pay for training for you, just so you get better at the craft. I think Will is taking little Delilah, and then Sibylla, I'm hoping you'll go and take Tammy. You know what, since they're a returning customer, I'll take Tammy. And Casey was married to my son, so yeah, this is like a personal matter. I'm not sure what is going on with Tammy, but it's not good. Yeah, she's blue. Okay, come on in, guys. Uh, I should put, like, a seating area in here, shouldn't I? Okay, that's next on the renovation. Okay, Tammy, let's sort you out for the 50 billionth time. Where are you going? Why are you, why are you coming off the pedestal? Oh, and everyone's back home from school already. Papyrus has got an average grade. So does Leaf. So does Rosemary. So does Sands. No one's doing particularly well. While I'm here, we're gonna get them to build some skills. You don't need to build any of those, but why not? You can build cooking. You apparently can't build any skills. You can build piano and you can build motor. Oh, you are so tense. Let's calm you down. Everything's gonna be okay, Tammy. I know your owners kind of suck, but <laughs> we're gonna take good care of you. Okay, she's calm. We're gonna examine her temperature skin and fur inspection okay she's got winterfest fever this is quite common in pets apparently and now we're gonna give her her treatment yum 
Good work, Tammy! And we're level 5 of the veterinary skill. We are now able to soothe pets at the exam table and craft wellness treats at the medicine crafting table. Casey, if I see you back here again, I am reporting you to Peter. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're 2 out of 5 stars! We're making our way up. And we've got a dog here, Tom. I think Sybilla is going to take care of him. Um, Will, we've got a, a sick cat here. Can you please do your job? Thank you. Well, I'm going to leave Amber and her employees here. And we're going to go and check back with everyone else at the house. Back home, we've got everyone doing their own thing. Sans is playing chess. You are dancing. Um, no. I need you to... Uh, do some more violin you're already level three which is really impressive we can bow for inspiration okay you are on the computer playing games all right uh last time we tried to start up your painting skill and apparently painting this picture didn't count as getting the skill which is so dumb so why don't you go and do some classical paintings i'm actually gonna cue them up we also want to chat with stacy so maybe shoot her a text or something Oh, let's get social bunny. What am I doing? Open social bunny. Let's add... I guess we could add our family as contacts. Oh, let's add our mum, our other mum. And then let's... Oh, we can't add Stacy. I guess we're not, like, close enough friends. Which is fine. Let's just, like, chat with her. See if she's into that. Papyrus is home. He's gone to watch TV. Oh my gosh, look at your little outfit! Oh, I love that. We need a picture. Take a selfie. Let's post it on Social Bunny later. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does this angle kind of creep me out? Okay, this is cute. Let's do this. Oh, look at Papyrus. I can't. Why is he smiling like that? Little wink. Okay, we're definitely posting those on Social Bunny. How cool would it be if we could post actual photos on here? But I don't think you can. No, you can't. Well, I was thinking that maybe we could bring Sans and possibly Claudine, if she wants to come, to like a, a library and we could read to a bunch of kids at the library. Since Sans needs to get his parenting skill up, I don't know, maybe he wants to be a kid entertainer or a child's book author or something. Those are the types of vibes I'm getting from him. He also wants to talk to his mum. Let's shoot Bone Hilda a quick text. Oh, we can't. <gasps> no. Can we like add her on social bunny? <gasps> we can add her, yay! So we can actually text her from here. Let's do a bunch of friendly messages. See how she's doing. Oh, cute. But yeah, let's actually, did we end up writing a child's book? I don't think we did. Let's go to a children's library or children's park or something, get a book and just read to them. Maybe as like charity work at a library or something. I think that would be sweet. Should we go to good old Willow Creek? There's a library here and Claudine, why don't you just come along and maybe you can make some friends? All right, so we're gonna have to wait for some kids to come. There's usually children at the library, right? Yeah, there's a whole like children's area. So we're gonna go and open and get ourselves a child's book. Children and fantasy, children's. Yeah, let's get this one. Oh no, we can't take it. Oh, we should have taken one from home. Okay, we're gonna have to go home and get ourselves a book. So we've got some books in our inventory, some children's books. Um, all we need to do now is wait for some to show up, which we've got a little girl here called Michaela. Michaela Skeleton. Oh, maybe we're related. But yeah, just say, hi, I'm Sans. I'm gonna be looking after you for the next hour. Just maybe it's for a charity to get kids to read more yeah because i feel like kids don't read that much oh my gosh the principal's here and she's pregnant and malaysia's here oh let's go say hi malaysia's like everywhere it is like 7 45 p.m so i'm not surprised there aren't any like or at least many kids here we probably should have come earlier are there any upstairs no, there's no one upstairs. Okay. Well, let's just do it with you guys. We're going to add you to our group and we're all going to come in here. Um, If I sit here, will they sit on the floor? And can we like read to child? <gasps> yes, let's do it. No, sit in the kids room. Oh my gosh. Why are you sitting out here? Oh, and curfew starts soon. Amber's reminding us. Well, this is kind of working. They're like sitting in the chairs. Is this even getting our parenting skill up? I feel like it should. We're like reading to kids. Well, this is still cute. Sans is like getting involved with like the community, 
reading to the local kids, even though one of them is his younger sister. Maybe we could turn this room into like a reading room. That could be cool. Get some of these pillows around the place and then the kids can sit here while Sans reads to them. That's kind of that's cute and get this chair that this lady is sitting on and like turn it to face them yeah i'm a little upset it doesn't get his parenting skill up but it's not the end of the world don't put it in the bookshelf because you own that put it in your inventory okay well we'll go home for now but maybe we can come back tomorrow and try this out again something i also really wanted to do with papyrus since he's really into photography i thought it would be cool if we had to bring him to all of like the school events like the football team sports day and the cheerleading team sports day and get him to take pictures of everything for like the school newspaper or something i think that could be cool and even for like the prom that usually happens on is it a friday or a saturday he would have to go and take photos oh and tomorrow is the flower festival which is a really big deal to rosemary and leaf oh how is ailey n doing let me bring sans here and bring claudine here as well ailey you're doing pretty well sans do you want to like teach her stuff teach her to say sorry it's 9 50 some of you guys are a little tired um oh and amber's back how is everything at the store we've been open for a while we've made two grand which is really impressive i mean we can keep it open for a little bit longer definitely not taking advantage of our employees no, we would never do that in terms of occult children we only have one occult to do left the night wraith which i'm not sure if we can have a baby with them um i haven't put one into the world i'm gonna have to do that from the gallery you guys said that that's an option or i could get amber to become a spellcaster which i kind of don't want to do oh yeah we did talk about getting um i think it's sage's daughter chanel and since she is like a newbie spellcaster adding her to our household and then getting her to hopefully get the curse where we interact with the night wraith or even if we can't get her to get the curse we will cheat her so that's always an option maybe we should go and visit sage in this episode i'm gonna bring this easel back inside the only reason it was outside in the first place was because we had to paint i think techna so we'll bring it inside and get leaf to do some more painting kind of taking after his mum. oh my gosh can amber mentor you while you paint and who the hell's in our bed oh it's one of our ghost children okay amber please come over and mentor yeah oh i love that amber can help her children with their skills and it was frost hey we saw your daughter at prom she's doing well um she is dead but she's doing well we're definitely looking after her keeping an eye on all the kids the kids of kids sand you are like super tired so why don't you go to bed it is two o'clock in the morning i think everyone oh you're not even that tired level four painting leaf i swear you just started learning oh my gosh amber being near them makes their skills go up so fast because she has that one trait matriarch matriarchs provide skill boosts whenever they are around their children so everyone's skills are like growing so quickly okay papyrus is level four of the archaeology skill everyone's skills are like doing so well he's level six I swear it was like level four, like two seconds ago. What is going on? Okay, Leaf, you can stop painting. I guess when Amber mentors people, their skills increase so fast. So we're currently level 10 of cooking, painting, gardening, rocket science, parenting. Oh, we're level 10 of parenting. Can we mentor sans with parenting because i think you can only mentor someone if your sim has level 10 of that skill for example we don't have any archaeology skill at all so we can't mentor papyrus but it's very possible oh sans is looking after amy oh he's so cute but yeah it's very possible that when sans is doing parenting stuff we could possibly mental him i don't know if that will work but we can definitely try anyway let's get everyone to go to bed you're looking after ailey which is so freaking cute i love sans he's so good with kids why don't you go get some sleep you also should get some sleep we could carry on with the archaeology tomorrow you are being spooked out from your siblings definitely go to bed and you're doing great like really good your your energy is not that bad why don't you use the bathroom and then go to sleep for a little bit wow leaf's already level four of the piano skill as well so he's almost like once he gets to level five of the piano skill 
he's done. Like, he's done everything he needs to do to age up, and he's got such a long time before he ages up. That's so impressive! We still got a little ways to go with Rosemary, but Pyrus is making his way. We just need to do some more photography. I'm thinking possibly tomorrow we could go to school, and I put the photography room in the school so we could take some pictures of our siblings or something. I don't know. Sans is also doing okay with his parenting and dancing. Everything's going really well. Oh, we should probably close the clinic. Three thousand. 1,881 simoleons. I kept my employees working for 40 hours and well satisfied. He's okay with the long hours as long as they're okay with it. We've got a lot of perk points. So let's get an additional vet number two. Um, oh, we should be saving up for the well-managed tray. Okay, that's definitely next. Okay, it's officially the flower festival. Oh, everyone gets a day off of school. So no one's going to school today. You woke up really, really sad. Well, go take a shower. Who wants to make breakfast today? Everyone's pretty tired. You know what, Leaf? Why don't you wake up and make breakfast? I definitely see him making mac and cheese for everyone. And Papyrus gets annoyed. Like, why are you making such an unhealthy breakfast? What are you doing? Speaking of Papyrus, Virus. Oh my gosh, look at our little collection of photos. While you wait on that, let's get you to do some morning reading. Oh, he doesn't get any skill from Archaeology 1 anymore. So he's like leveled up. Time to start Archaeology Level 2. You're having cake for breakfast when your older brother is cooking mac and cheese. But that's okay. Um, Do you want to like do your homework? Maybe get your motor skill up. We should probably focus on her motor skill because she will be quite active as a werewolf right oh amber's awake stressed but awake i still don't know what's going on with our money tree they like stopped growing i i don't know what happened oh look at this she wants to have a child oh yeah we should probably visit sage actually you know what it's nine o'clock in the morning do you think she'll be home or even awake? I'm not even sure. I don't know, but let's go and find out. Oh, does Malaysia still live there? Not our daughter Malaysia, but like Sage's clone. I don't know, maybe she moved out. I don't even remember if I have neighborhood stories on. Okay, this is where Edward lives. Oh my gosh, so much going on. They have so many cats. And then we've got Sage, Malaysia, and Chantel. Hey girls, it's me, mum, and grandma. How is everyone? Let's go and hug you all. Chantel, that is so inappropriate. What is Sage and Malaysia teaching you? Guys, look, we have an option to ask about degree. So I'm guessing that she's a university student. So I'm thinking that maybe she comes and lives with us as like an exchange student in Brittleton Bay. I think that could be cool. So she only lives with us for a little bit. She's, oh, she's completing a drama degree. You actually have a uncle? Yeah, you have an uncle who's into drama. He's in the drama club in high school. But yeah, I think, if Chantel comes and lives with us for a little bit while she does her university degree, we can work on getting her the um, the curse. I actually don't know what the curse is called. Let me look that up real quick. Okay, the curse is just called the curse of the night wraith. There isn't, I don't think there's a specific way on how we can get it. If we, again, if we have to cheat it, we will. But first, let's at least get Chantel into our household. Oh, the flower bunny's here. Oh no, Chantel, come back. Oh, she's run inside. Okay, let's go and knock on the door because we haven't done that yet. The cute little cottage in the woods. And then let's go and we have to become like really good friends before we can invite her into our household. So let's just take some pictures together. Oh, I do really like their little like cottage. Oh, this is so cute. Even though Chantel isn't like genetically our granddaughter, we kind of look alike, don't we? Okay, our relationship should be pretty good. Yeah, I don't know if it's enough to get her to like come into our household. <gasps> Ask to join household, okay. Amber's getting some tea. Hopefully she says yes. I don't know if we've asked her yet. No, they canceled the interaction. Please ask her to join the household. Okay, let's go. We're gonna, oh wow. Sage and Malaysia are doing pretty well in terms of money. But let's get Chantel in here. Just for the time being, we're gonna move her back at some point. She's just doing a little exchange program. And now we've got our spell caster. Now her, her magic, is not great she doesn't know any spells and she doesn't know any potions which is great for us because i'm pretty sure for you to get a curse you, sh you shouldn't be that good at magic you know okay looking online the best way to get the curse of the night wraith is to overcharge 
So that's exactly what we've got to do with Chantelle, but we've got to be careful that she doesn't die. I'm like, that would be bad. Now let's just do some magic jewels with mum over here. We're obviously gonna lose, but that's okay. We don't know any spells. So it's not like we can cast the same spell over and over again, you know? Oh, look at that cute little lemon tree. Okay, let's just hurry up and lose this. Oh, maybe while we're here, we should open the vet. Cause why not? We've gone down half a star. How comes? I don't know, maybe because we're not there. But yeah, we've opened the vet. Oh my gosh, we won? How did you beat Sage? Sage probably let you win. Because Sage is way too powerful to be losing. <laughs> okay, magic jewel. If we win again, I'll be very shocked. Yeah, Sage was like, I'm not letting you win twice in a row. Okay, let's do this a few more times. Our spellcaster charge is going up very quickly. We did lose again. <laughs> Let's duel for some more knowledge. I think one more time. I'm gonna save my game just in case things go south. That would be good. Oh, Sage thinks Chanel Forest is swell. Wants to become best friends. Sage, where did you get so cute? You used to be this like demon child. Now look at you, a responsible woman, a lovely mom. Oh, Sage has had like the best like character arc. Oh wait, no guys, Chantel already has her drama degree. I thought she was still in university. Currently she works in the fast food market, which is very realistic. And she has every day off, which is interesting. Okay, we lost. Oh, we're in like this pink. Oh, we're overcharged, we're overcharged, we're overcharged. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna give us curse we did lose um we did rank up oh we've got something oh we've got the curse of unwarranted hostility for some reason everyone just wants to be mean to you and even start fights with you oh that sounds like it sucks can we ask for like a potion because i'm pretty sure sage has a potion to get rid of that okay we're playing as sage right now and i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking we don't have um the actual potion to get rid of curses but we do know it we need apple citrine angelfish and mandrake okay um we have none of those things <laughs> oh look we just happen to have all the ingredients that we need right in front of us how did that happen i don't know but i'm gonna take advantage of this Oh, we can't put that in our inventory. <laughs> Great. We can't put the angelfish in our inventory? Come on. Okay, we could put you in our inventory. Oh, I thought this would work. <laughs> I guess quick trip to the magical realm. I know this episode has been us like jumping around every which way, which I'm sorry about that, but we've got to do what we've got to do, you know? So let's go to... Oh, we need this shop to be open. Apparently Sage is really attracted to this ghost, which I can understand why. He He's kind of fine even though he's see-through it's kind of fine but um we don't have time for that right now sage i need you to go to your stall and open it up but we don't have all day oh you also are pretty like charged let's go and buy ingredients please can you have what we need we need an apple and we need an angelfish oh they don't have an angelfish no yes i kind of did a thing <laughs> i was trying to do it like the traditional way and actually catch the angelfish but it was taking way too long so i did a thing and we have the ingredients we need to make the potion that we need we don't even have a cauldron on this lot okay got one now let's make this potion where is it curse cleansing potion we'll duplicate it a few times and then we're gonna gift it to chanel and then i don't know what we're gonna do after that <laughs> is amber still here i don't even know if she is she might have gone home which i would have she's got a whole toddler to look after yeah amber's not here but which is fine we don't need amber right now we only need chanel and she's still here okay the flower festival's over which which does suck i did want to spend it with rosemary and leaf but that's okay um we've got ourselves our curse cleansing potion so let's bottle all of that up um oh my gosh what's going on why are you guys getting negative relations no please please stay please stay i'm gonna reset you because we need to give this to you let's give friendly gift and we're gonna give you the potion of um where is it right at the bottom potion of curse cleansing okay one more here you go gave you like a little present for your travels you know you're going to Brittleton bay you don't know what mess you could get up to okay cool she's got them all no she left i need her to come back because i need to play as the forest household chanel is sleeping oh my she was just here look at that chanel will be right right over here she is running in 
Now, um, please stop running for a second. Let's play as you. All right, where is Sage? We are overcharged. We're gonna drink one of these bad boys. Oh, look at our little graduation photo. Let's put it up in this house. So freaking cute. Okay, we've overcome blah blah blah. We've got rid of our curse. Now let's do another duel with mum. We are slowly getting better at magic, which isn't ideal. But let's see if we'll get a another one. Okay, we're overcharged. Hopefully we get another curse. And no, we do not have another curse. Okay, let's save because we don't want to die. One more before like I give up for this episode. No, you have work in an hour. Don't you have like every day off? It's filling up really high, very, very slowly. Um, no curse. Oh my gosh, we got the curse of the night, Wraith. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look how energy, it automatically went super low out of nowhere. Wow, look at this demon lady with her AirPods in and her scary purple eyes. But okay, we've got the curse of the night, Wraith. And there he is. Ew, why do you look like that? Ugh. Well, guys, we did it. We've got the curse. Now, all we have to do is have a baby with him, which we will be doing in the next episode, or at least trying to. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video.